Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Digital Classroom and Digital Classroom is made possible by BenQ and Rogue and today it's all about making stuff easier. Hey guys, it's no secret I absolutely love Luminar. Now, Luminar was released actually on the Mac under the name Mac Fun, and at that time I could only play with it for a little while because I switched over to the PC. Luckily, Mac Fun changed the name to Skylum, and now they have the full-blown version also on the PC. There are still some slight differences between the PC and the Mac version, but slowly they build together, and you know what? At the end, they will be completely the same. And the Windows version, I really, really like. You can use it as a plugin in Photoshop. This is how I mostly use it. But you can also use it as a standalone version. And Luminar gets updated very, very regularly. And there's one update that I really have to share with you guys. Now, this is not an advanced video, but this is cool for you advanced guys. For the very simple reason, when we travel, we want to do stuff fast and quick. Because I don't want to spend a lot of time, right? You want to take your images you want to do it fast retouching I mean so what you want to do is you go into your filters menu here and you go to add filters this is the cool thing about luminar you can literally add any filter you like for example let's say I want some cross-processing in there you just add the filter you add the amount of cross-processing and if you're done with it you can actually add for example structure and you can add some structure or softness and let me do this there we go and it, it's really cool. You can build your own workspaces. You can, of course, also take these out or save them as a preset. So it's a really versatile program where you can literally just add everything. Now, of course, there are a lot of names here. And yeah, what do they do? Well, very simple. Just press info. And now when you go over it, you can actually see that there is a lot of stuff inside of Luminar that's, that's really interesting. But two are new. And I really want to show you these two because these are are gonna make your life if you travel and you want to edit fast a lot easier the first one is accent AE a smart enhancement with the help of you know what just try it let's put it in there and also the sky enhancer just put it in there too okay now one of the things that you hear a lot about is artificial intelligence deeper learning or whatever in essence it just means that the software is getting smarter and in this case it's getting pretty smart now let's first start out with the artificial intelligence accent filter Okay, the only thing you have to do actually is this. Just raise it up. And some people that know Photo Lemur will recognize some stuff about this. It's looking at the picture and it will literally adjust for what it sees in the picture. And it does a pretty good job because this is only one image I'm going to show you guys. Of course, you can use the brush and you can take the filter out. See? Of course, you don't want to take it out. So let's add it back in. The other one is the Sky Enhancer. Uh, just do this and it enhances the blues and in other words the sky really nice now with luminar you can of course paint in your uh, masks or gradient or radial luminous into mask whatever you want you can uh, set the effect on and off just to check very quickly but as you can see it's a really fast way now let's say that we store this as a preset so let's just very quickly save this as fd test for auto okay create there we go and now under categories if i go to all uh, sorry custom presets i will see that i have a test for auto and of course i have my original in here too so my auto okay let's open another image file open i uh, don't save and uh, let's just take this one yeah interesting shot laying on the floor aiming up and also the cows really liked it so let's go to categories, let's go to custom, and let's just start that auto function again. And now you will see that it does a totally different job from the previous image. But I'm still using those same sky enhancer and accent. But it does something completely different. And this is because it looks at every single image and just determines what will I need to do to make this image more interesting. Now in all honesty, if you want to do a really fast edit while you're on location, just use the sky enhancer and accent. And then add, for example, your clarity. And let me do some cool stuff with, let's do advanced contrast. Curves we, of course, always need. But for this case, I'm just going to leave it and do the essentials. 
So do raw develop. There we go. Okay, so this is the workflow that I would advise you guys to do. So first off, you're gonna do your exposure, contrast, highlight. So let's just say this, add a little bit of shadow maybe and clarity. There we go. And of course your white balance. Now I didn't shoot this with a gray card, so let's just see what happens. There we go, looks okay. And just do the exposure a little bit down. Now, as you can see, I'm changing this, but the artificial intelligence are still on. Now, let's see what happens when I move these to the off position. You immediately see that the image gets a little bit more muddy. So what I would advise you guys to do is just make one preset where everything is set in the middle except these. And at that point, when you open up a new image, it will already have that artificial intelligence. The only thing you have to do is do your color balance, balance everything with your raw converter, and you can still recover highlights and, uh, of course, shadows. And then just move down the line and add a little bit of clarity and do some advanced highlights, uh, comp uh, sorry, um, advanced contrast in your highlights, midtones. And this is how to make your image really pop. And overall, you can, of course, do filters amount zero or on. And the thing is, and this is why I started this video, sometimes on location, you want to be fast. You want to be quick for the very simple reason. When we travel, I'm shooting all day. I'm making images. And at night, we camp somewhere or we're in a hotel. And I don't want to spend hours behind Photoshop or Lightroom or Luminar to just make every image look perfect. I just love the fact that with these two settings, Artificial Intelligence Sky Enhancer and Accent Artificial Intelligence Filter, I now have a really cool way of starting it and I can just finish it off by using my RAW Converter or these other settings like Clarity and Advanced Contrast. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. If you love Luminar, we have a special discount code. I will leave the link below and you can visit them. And of course, when you buy via our link, you also support our work. And again, a really cool addition, Luminar. Well done, Skylum. And um, we'll see you for the next time. And thank you so much to BenQ and Rogue for making Digital Classroom possible. See you again next time, guys. And if you have any questions, leave comments below, smash that like button, and of course, subscribe to our channel. Bye, guys.